Hey folks, I'm dispersed camp near Jack Creek in Knoppers Ford in the Washita National Forest. Thanks for watching. Jack Creek Recreation Area, folks. Look at that, folks. This is a uh, Knopper's Ford up ahead. Do a swimming hole, folks. Hey folks, it's Mark Dispersed Camp from Man, and I'm currently dispersed camped in the uh, Washita National Forest. Before I show you where I'm at, take a look who's joining to camp this morning. Came out my door, I started videoing. Look, we showed up. Got a little beagle, aren't you? A little beagle. <laughs> Pretty little dog. Fed him some ham. Hey, don't jump on me. Fed him some ham. And uh, gave him some water. He's not drinking the water. But he did tear up that ham. He looked like he's wanting some more. That's all I got. Your owner is on his way. Your owner's on his way, I promise. Yesterday I was uh, riding my motorcycle around. Somebody stopped me right now on a motorcycle, asked me if I had seen uh, any beagles around. How are you going? You wouldn't have any seen some beagle dogs up here on the road somewhere. Nah, uh, no. They said they are uh, GPS is on their collars. I said, no, if I do, I'll call you, let you know if uh, I find uh, any. So, yeah, this morning, this little uh, okay. beagle, hunting dog, rode into Good camp. Luck. I fed him some uh, ham. I figured he'd be very hungry since he's probably out all night. Thankfully, he had a uh, the owner's phone number on his collar. I just got done calling him, and he's uh, he's in Waldron, and I think he says he's about 30 minutes away. That's pretty cool. I think there's another one out there too. He asked if there's both of them or just one showed up. So far, only one has showed up. It's a pretty little beagle. While I'm waiting for uh, this guy to show up, uh, yeah, I'm in the Washita National Forest, and it's located about 11 miles south of a town called uh, Boonville, Arkansas. You can kind of see it back there. It's a little bit off the road, so I do have a little bit of privacy. Look at that. That's been a pretty cool little cabin spot. A lot of pines in the area, real tall pines. Nice some uh, oaks mixed in with the woods. It wasn't raining. Uh, I got here a couple of days ago, and last night it started raining, and uh, raining pretty hard. And everything's wet today. I did have my motorcycle covered, but uh, yeah. If you're interested in finding this location, I came off of uh, Boonville, which is off of Highway 10 to Highway 23. And uh, from 23 on Highway 116 to uh, Jack Creek Road, then on to uh, Gerard Road. This is how you find this spot. And of course, I'll uh, leave the grid corners to this location in the video description. Also, uh, when I'm thinking about it, if uh, you go into my video description, you'll see a link there to Google Map. What I've been doing is uh, putting all my camping spots in a Google Maps uh, program. Just click on that link that says Google Maps of all my dispersed locations. And everywhere I've dispersed camp that many a video app, it'll pop up on that, that map. And whatever, in, uh, whatever location you're interested in, just click on that location, it'll pop up the videos of uh, what I did at that location to show you around. Uh, it's best viewed on a laptop. I don't know if a phone, if you're on a, a smartphone, I don't know if the uh, video will pop up or not. But uh, the best bet is go ahead and use a laptop and you can kind of see where you want to camp at. It did start raining uh, last night. Everything's pretty much wet. Look at these tall pine trees with me. It's very quiet down here. I think I had one Forest Service truck go by and that was it. I'm aware of. This place got a pretty cool little uh, fire pit. <clears throat> I wasn't going to start a fire, but 
Since it started raining, everything's wet. I'll probably just go ahead and leave the wood I cut up for the next person. Pretty cool little fire pit. And right out there, you can see my generator I set up. My motorcycle, what I've been doing is running the roads. Got a couple of trail cameras up too. <clears throat> and uh, right up there you can see my Wii Boost. I mount it to my antenna. And uh, this place has no cell service <clears throat> whatsoever. You might be able to get a text out, but with the Wii Boost, it uh, boosts the cell service, which uh, allows me to watch videos. Uh, boosts it pretty good. So if you've got your Wii Boost, you need cell service, go ahead and turn it on and you'll have some pretty good cell service out here. Without the Wii Boost, you're going to have no cell service. Take a look at that dog right there, that little beagle. He's curled up. He's probably had a rough night. <laughs> Poor dog. Like I said, I gave him some water. He didn't drink none of it, but he did eat the ham up I had. Also, folks, this is the uh, probably towards the end of September, and uh, the ticks are still out. <clears throat> if I every time I walk around in the grass, whatever, do check myself, I might find a tick on me, whatever. But uh, I was a uh, motorbike in or riding my motorcycle, probably uh, a couple miles north of here, and I was uh, walking along a trail on a creek bank. And I looked down on my knee, and it looked like a whole a lot of dirt was on my knee. So I looked closer. The dirt started moving. <laughs> so what I got was like pretty much a big wad of sea ticks right there. Thankfully, I was on my way back to my motorcycle where I had parked it. And on my motorcycle, I keep some uh, Repel, which is uh, uh, to keep ticks and stuff off of me. As soon as I got to my motorcycle, <clears throat> I took that Repel out. And I just started spraying that whole wad of sea ticks that was on me. Thankfully, I noticed it fast enough before they dispersed all over me. My only other option would have probably been to uh, jump in the creek and try to wash it off. It looks like it's trying to sprinkle again. So yeah, folks, when you're out here walking around, make sure you got some repel on you. <clears throat> Keep the ticks off of you. But then again, uh, fall should be here in about a week or two. It'll be fall and hopefully the, the colder temperatures will uh, get rid of most of the ticks and chiggers and stuff out here. And right down there, looks like it comes top of a log road down through here, but I don't know how far it goes back because it is pretty grown up. I didn't want to chance it with all the ticks and stuff out. So yeah, it's been a pretty good camping spot here, folks. Look at those tall pine trees. hear the wind and the trees Very peaceful area, folks. Uh, what I've been doing here is uh, riding my motorcycle, and no more, a little under two and a half miles down the road down there is uh, Jack Creek Recreational uh, Area. If you do camp out here, uh, anywhere in this area, make sure you go down there and uh, take a look at that. Uh, it's a, pretty much a swimming hole, but you can't camp there certain times of the year. And I went down there and took a look at it and uh, take a look. Washita National Forest Recreation Area. This is a Jack Creek. Jack Creek Recreation Area, folks. Pretty cool little spot. And the best thing about this is if you want to camp, you can. This is your camping area. Pretty small little area, but the best thing about this is also that it's uh, free. Of course, alcohol is prohibited. 
And here's your Jack Creek information sign. Got a lot of tra uh, hiking trails. I'm gonna take you one on up here. A hiking trail for an overlook up here. Let's go check these campsites out right here. Look at this little camping spot right here. Nice. And I'm gonna say that the trail right through there takes you over to the uh, Vista Trail overlook, I believe. Uh, these each of these campsites got a lantern hanger, pretty nice size fire pit, a uh, barbecue grill right there, and a table. Pretty neat. <clears throat> Even though this place is uphill, it does look like all these spots are pretty level. Be a nice little tent camping, maybe a small little RV. Yeah, right there's the trail, hiking trail. Get this one, there's a trail right through there. Probably takes you over there to uh, Jack Creek. Yeah, it's pretty much a circle drive. And you head back out to the main road. <coughs> then not very far right down this road right here, we come to uh, Jack Creek Recreation Area. First look, that's pretty cool looking. And all down there is the uh, overflow parking. They keep this place up pretty freaking good. Look at that. I think I'm about to go for a swim. Let me uh, park. And I'm going to swap out cameras. Show you around this place. It's a pretty cool little spot. Yeah, folks. Jack Creek Recreation Area right here. If you haven't been here, definitely stop by here and uh, take a look. It's a pretty cool little uh, recreation area. And uh, a lot of people come here to uh, swim. Let's go take a look. And this spot is not very far from where I'm camped out at. Uh, it's about two and a half miles from there. So yeah, I got a little shelter right there. Of course, no alcohol. This area is closed from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. So there's no camping over here. If you want to camp, you got to camp up there where I showed you. Several picnic tables down through here. Look at that water. Look at that, folks. Pretty cool looking. First building's pretty neat looking. There's a change room. Pretty massive spider web right there in the door. Yeah, it's just pretty much a change room. Oh, this is probably some uh, bulk toilets right here. You see the exhaust pipes up top. <clears throat> Got a women's and a male's. Yep. Pretty basic. You pass the uh, changing rooms, the trail right here. This is a high cliffed area. It takes you up to a bluff. You can overlook the uh, Jack Creek. It's pretty cool. Ain't a very far walk. It's probably about, I don't know, a quarter of a mile, half a mile. You're a little ways in, you come up to this railing right here. You start doing a little uh, climbing uphill. <clears throat> it's pretty cool how they set these, uh, these steps in here. You start seeing the view. There's Jack Creek right down there. Like I said, not a very far little trail right here. We're nearing the end right here. This is going to be the uh, overlook area. Look how much work it did into this. Whew. Pretty cool.
take a look at the view. But there's a Jack Creek Recreation Area right there, a little swimming hole. Definitely, folks, if you're out here, definitely uh, take this little short hike up here. See this uh, vista. Pretty cool little spot. I just can't get over the uh, work they did on building this platform right here. Looks like all uh, local rock, too. I took a lot of work and a lot of time. So what do y'all think? Jack Creek Recreation Area. It's a pretty cool little spot. If uh, you are camped out here, make sure you, you plan a visit down there. Check that spot out, especially in the summer months. Uh, do some swimming. You could even do some uh, bluff diving if you want to. Pretty cool little area right there. After that, I went over to uh, Knopper Ford Recreation Area. That spot is a day use area only. Uh, you can't camp there because of it has the potential of uh, flooding and stuff. Uh, you can uh, a day use area and it's a very excellent spot to uh, do some swimming also. Take a look. There you go folks. This is uh, Knoppers Ford up ahead. So in the Wachita National Forest. This uh, Knoppers Ford is just uh, a day use area. You're not allowed to camp here because it does have a tendency of flooding. Yeah, flash flood area. It's a pretty cool little uh, swimming hole. I think it's about two and a half, three miles from where I'm camped at. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I bet when the water really starts flowing, I bet that's a pretty cool waterfall right there. Thank you. Go up here, show you around uh, this recreation area. We can uh, do day picnicking and stuff. You can park right there and walk over there out to the water. Let me take you up here real quick. Like that sign said right there, no overnight camping. Just like uh, Jack Creek Recreation Area. You have a vault toilet right there for male and female. And it sure says also Knoppers Ford and Jack Creek will be shut down starting October 18, 2021. You park here and have you a picnic. But like I said, you are not allowed to camp here if it's prone to flooding. Got a nice little picnic table and a fire pit. Got some trash receptacles. What a lot of people do is, once you pull out of the park right here, you get back onto the dirt road, what you can do is just go across the street and you can walk into the water. But there's several spots like this on the side of the road. And you can park on one this, this spot right here and find you a path to the water. That's what some people do. Let's go up here. <clears throat> Pick up here on the right, there's a pretty good one. Right here. Yeah, people park right here. And you can see that path right here. Let's go down there for a second. <clears throat> I'll keep my helmet on. I'm still parking up here at the rec center. What they do is just park here. And walk this path. To the water to do some swimming. Uh, 
Nuffers Creek's got some uh, pretty good swimming hole folks, if you're interested. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Look, that's pretty deep too. I decided I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump in the water for a little bit. Water looks great. Definitely another sweet little swimming hole, folks. That was Nupper's Ford, folks. Really cool little spot. And that's also a little over two and a half miles from this spot right, right here. Pretty easy location to get to. And uh, pretty cool little spot over there. Also, folks, if you're uh, into hiking, you like to hike, there is a lot of uh, trails down through here. Right down the road, less than half a mile right down the road right here is Sugar Creek Trail. It, it connects... Uh, Jack Creek and Nopper Ford uh, recreation area and I'm thinking there's like 37 miles of trail out through here if you want to I went down there uh, I think it was yesterday I went down there uh, hiked some of the trails it is a beautiful area down through there I'm gonna leave the grid coordinates to uh, Sugar Creek Trail Trailhead uh, Jack Creek uh, Recreation Area and Nopper Ford Recreation Area in the video description. And also, like I said below, while you're in the video description, if you want to see a map of all of my uh, dispersed camping locations I've been through, uh, it's in Arkansas, uh, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona. <coughs> it shows a complete map of all my dispersed camping locations. So if you're passing through, you want to know what the nearest location is, uh, it'll show you on that map and it also show you uh, the videos I have associated with that spot hey guys I'm going to end the video because it is starting to really mist and it's probably messing up my camera on my phone yeah folks appreciate you guys for uh, watching and subscribing and liking and if you can go ahead and uh, leave a comment in the video and uh, I'll try to get back with you Wachita National Forest, folks, south of uh, Boonville, Arkansas. Good little spot. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching.